the Secretary of State gave a long-awaited speech Thursday explaining the Biden administration's China policy. What did he say and what questions still remain? NTD's Iris Tao has more. Despite Russia's invasion of Ukraine, the U.S. is making clear that China remains the greatest threat to world order. Even as President Putin's war continues, we will remain focused on the most serious long-term challenge to the international order, and that's posed by the People's Republic of China. In a Thursday speech, Secretary of State Antony Blinken articulated the Biden administration's China strategy in three words. Invest, align, compete. That means to invest domestically, work with allies, and outperform China in key areas. The goal is to defend global rules against China's behaviors. We cannot rely on Beijing to change its trajectory. So, we will shape the strategic environment around Beijing to advance our vision for an open, inclusive international system. Blinken also called out Beijing's unfair trade practices, human rights abuses, and aggressive actions in the South China Sea. That said... So he was pointing these things out, but not giving any real sense or concrete uh, specifics of what you're actually going to do. Grant Newsham, a senior fellow with the Center for Security Policy, says Blinken failed to outline specific actions. The Chinese communists would listen to this and say, OK, uh, and you're not, that's all? You're not going to do anything? Well, we're going to keep pushing and pushing and pushing. And Blinken notably said the U.S. is not seeking a cold war with China, adding... We do not seek to transform China's political system. Secretary said, we don't want to change the Chinese communist system. Well, the Chinese are sure out to change ours. And you didn't see any real sense of urgency or concern. The Secretary of State did not mention how the administration will handle trade disputes or whether it will lift the Trump-era tariffs on China.